In this problem, we have to multiply out this polynomial. So there's a couple of ways to do it. Let's start maybe um, by multiplying out, um, how about the first two? Let's just take these two and multiply them out. You could also multiply out the last two first if you like, but let's just work left or right. Okay, so to multiply these out, what you do is you take this one here and you just multiply it by the x and the negative 4. Then you take the 5 and you multiply it by the x and the negative 4. So we'll do 2x times x. That's going to give us 2x squared. And then 2x times negative 4 will give us negative 8x. Now we go to the 5. 5 times x will give us a positive 5x. And then 5 times negative 4 is going to give us a negative 20. And then we still have this other piece hanging out, parentheses, 3x plus 1. Good stuff. Looks like we can combine like terms, which is really nice. So uh, this will be 2x squared minus 8x plus 5x is minus 3x. And we have a minus 20. And then here we have 3x plus 1. Okay, now we're going to do it again. So we're just going to take each of these and distribute it through into this piece here. I'm going to use a different color. So first let's do 2x squared. So 2x squared times 3x is going to give us 6x cubed, right? Because x squared times x is x cubed. You add the exponents. Then 2x squared times 1 will give us plus 2x squared. Now we go to the next one. 3x times 3x is going to give us a minus 9x squared, right? There's a minus sign there. And then minus 3x times 1 is going to give us a minus 3x. Finally, we're at negative 20. So negative 20 times 3x is a minus 60x. And negative 20 times 1 is minus 20. So what are we left with? We have 6x cubed. So if we combine the x squared terms, that's going to give us minus 7x squared. And then combining these will give us minus 63x. And then we still have the minus 20 at the very end. And that should be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.